Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Mobin Sayyid. There is a very common question that should I take a vaccine after recovering from a COVID infection in a healthy way? So let's answer that question. A simple answer is no. And a better, longer answer with the explanation is the following. So first of all, the assumption is that you had COVID and you recovered from COVID in a healthy way. That means you did not become uh, so sick that you ended up in an ICU or on a ventilator. If that is the case, then taking a vaccine is really important because that would give your immune system some more boosting and some more training instead of an actual infection that could be disastrous. On the other hand, if a person has recovered from COVID in a healthy way, they got COVID, maybe they are they're young, they're old, but they got COVID and some botheration for a week or so and then they recovered. Now, in such case, they actually have proven that the body has handled the, the COVID successfully. So this concept of, hey, the antibodies are low or the antibodies are more or antibodies are missing and this is wrong and that is wrong is all useless. This person has proved that they could handle the COVID with success. The only thing could be that they actually did not have COVID. They had some other cold and they thought they had COVID. So for that, it is actually important for you to make sure that you had an RT-PCR which was positive or you had antibody test that was positive at some point so that you are sure that this was COVID and you're not taking some common cold and thinking it is COVID and then actual COVID occurs and uh, some people can actually die. So please make sure that there is this condition that this was confirmed COVID. If this was confirmed COVID and you recovered fine, then you do not need a vaccine. And here is why. So there is a study from Oxford, UK. That study said that they gave vaccine to people who already had the infection. So after giving the first dose of the vaccine, they saw that there was some increase in the immune system's response, which a person who had the infection, so let's say if I got infection today, then I recovered, then you expose me to the same infection three months later or four months later, my memory B cells and T cells that were sleeping will wake up and respond and they would start increasing their response. This, is, this would happen, which we say proliferation and differentiation of the immune cells would occur. So you take the dose of a vaccine and that would happen or you get an actual infection, this would happen as well. So that means your body was actually ready to take care of the infection again. And think about it. You took care of the infection before. If it comes in again, you would actually take care of that again as well without any issues. So why do you need a vaccine? No, number one. Number two, there are some folks who say that um, the variants are different and that is why the vaccine should be taken. So please once again realize you have attacked, your body has attacked the actual original Wuhan virus and you have taken care of it or some variant. Nowadays, most of the patient, patients who are becoming sick are becoming sick with the variants. And you took care of it. The variant and the Wuhan original version or wild type are actually 99% or more similar. Actually, there is only 17 or 20 amino acid differences, which is fraction of a percentage. So there's not enough difference to say that the previous immune training, either by an infection or by a vaccine, has become useless and you need to have the vaccine again. And even if you want to have the vaccine, if even if you think that you should have the vaccine, for example, there have been some people who've been saying, and my apologies, Luffy is here and he's, uh, he's gonna sing the songs of his people while I'm talking, so you'll have to, you'll have to bear with us. So now imagine, that you had the variant or you had some original infection. Now you have a variant in your society. Tell me this, the vaccines are actually developed with the original variant, original version in mind. So the messenger RNA of Moderna or Pfizer or the inactivated viruses or the spike protein of the viruses are actually from the previous virus. So how come if the previous infection did not help for the variant, 
how come the vaccine would help with the variant? Because the vaccine actually has the same infection or the same spike protein as the original variant type. So until this, this logic of taking a vaccine because there are variants will only become applicable when there are booster doses of the vaccines which are more towards the new variants, then this um, argument can become valid that hey, we have a vaccine that is more aligned to attack the variant compared to the original one. So maybe taking this as a booster dose may be interesting. So then those people who are at risk, the elderly, people with comorbidities, they may need to have it. Now with this, there is one more chance to consider taking vaccine. And let me also say this, if you said, hey, you know what, I'm a medical doctor. Actually, this morning, a medical doctor called me with this question. That's why I'm talking about it. And she said, I'm a doctor. I go and talk with the uh, uh, managed COVID patients. I had my own uh, COVID last year, I think in August or so. And she said, I am nervous. So I said, well, if you're nervous and if this will make you feel better, then go ahead and take the vaccine. Nothing bad in it. You took care of the actual infection. This little vaccine is your, your body is going to take care of that as well. Now, if somebody between the two times, the, what are the two times when they became infected? So let's say they became infected last year's in last year's March. Now this year, by this time, their immune system status has changed. How has it changed? For example, let's say they have developed diabetes. And now their diabetes is uncontrolled. They're not very careful with it. Now their immune system may not work properly. So they may consider taking a vaccine. Or they are taking steroid therapy that they were not taking before for some disease. And so now they may consider a vaccine. Or maybe they have an organ transplant. Or maybe they have a chemotherapy. Or maybe they develop some leukemias or some other cancers. Or uh, some other nutritional deficiency occurred. So some reason that their immune system became different compared to where it was before. If that is the case, then this is also a right time to think about taking a vaccine or not. Otherwise, if your body, I would now repeat it, if your body had taken care of the infection in a healthy way, you do not really need a vaccine. Now, is it contraindicated? No. Will it hurt you? No. You can take that, that is just like a, the infection again. And believe me, those doctors and nurses who have been working in COVID wards and they got COVID once, they may be exposed often and their body just doesn't care. That is the same thing that is going to happen with the vaccine as well. So with this, thank you very much. And I hope that you would uh, share this answer with others as well. Please also like, subscribe and share to this channel too. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.